Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, it's Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 3, Episode 11, called Fort Ross. So let's start off with Kara and Sam and Ruby visit Alex, who still has a broken leg. And then uh, Sam's got to go on a word trip, so Alex volunteers to keep Ruby at her house. And then we go back to the D.O., uh, found Fort Ross, orbiting a blue star, which means that Carl will not have her powers. So uh, Saturn Girl is, uh, decides to go with her with the ship, and then Supergirl recru uh, recruits Livewire, who's working in a diner. At first, she laughs her butt off, saying, you're out of your mind, but eventually she does agree to go. And then... <clears throat> Then we have Brainy at five and the D.O. And he slams it. He's like, I've seen espresso makers with more <laughs> CPU power than this place. And then uh, they, um, we also have Psy is also going to go because the place they're going um, it's not inhabitable for men. Only women can go. So Supergirl's building a team to go there of all women. So it's um, Psy, Saturn Girl, Supergirl, and Livewire. And so they're uh, so they're on the way, and then Psy and Livewire are bickering. And then um, Sam is going on a trip. And then we have Alex and Ruby play a game. And then Maggie, uh, then Maggie texts Alex and um, about, about a passport and stuff. And then... Oh, and then Sam's trip gets separated to her going to her base, and then basically acknowledge that Supergirl is on the way to Fort Ross. So she's going to go there through her own ship at her desert base. <laughs> and then... And then the team gets to the fort, and they get in, and they run into a prisoner, and they fight her off. And then Psy's power accidentally went off um, against Saturn Girl, so she's kind of infected a little bit. And then Ruby and Alex talk about Maggie, and turns out Ruby is actually being bullied at school. And then we have Psy is, um, has the inhibitors back on her to uh, dampen her psychic powers. And then we have Supergirl um, talks to Prisoner, and she tells her exactly where it is because she says she's going to die. <laughs> and then we cut to uh, tell, and then there's a solar flare, and then Fort is going into the star because of the flare. And then Wynn does not like Brainiac Five because he is. Uh, basically being demeaning and very rude to everybody. And then we have Livewire and Supergirl talk, and then they get in a fog, and then uh, Livewire almost got ejected, and she got attacked by these cloaked people, but they got uh, sent off into space while Livewire beamed herself back onto the ship. Then Alex confronts the girl that was bullying um, Ruby and basically disciplined her. <laughs> and that was a really good moment. I don't really like that. And then you have a rational brain at five who's trying to think of a strategy and it's not really working out for him because he's thinking too much outside the box of tech that is not available in the time frame that he's in or time period. And then uh, Wynn got an idea for like a message in a bottle and basically he thinks of an idea and Brainiac kind of took credit for it. So they managed to get um, back to contact with the ship because they lost contact because of the flare. And then um, Psy is, uh, is going a little crazy, talking to riddles and rhymes and stuff. Then they see that Rain um, is on board. And then Supergirl talks to Roz. And then Rain uh, took uh, Roz out. <laughs> so she's, no, she's just kind of got zapped through the um, heart, <laughs> literally. And then uh, Livewire um, jumps in and then... Um, Saturn girl, um, Saturn girl frees Psy and tells her to go help Kara. And then it's a live wire versus rain, and that was a really good sequence. I really like that sequence a lot. And then we have uh, live wire took a hit for Supergirl because Rain was about to um, off her, 
but literally she, Livewire like jumped in front of her, which was really brave and stuff. So she got hit, and then Sai attacks Rain, and then Sam came out just for like a nanosecond, and then she switched back to Rain and flew away. And then Livewire um, is gone. Her injuries were really bad, so she died. And then Alex and Ruby bond some more. And then uh, Sam comes back and picks her up and tells her to go ahead on to the elevator. And then she start to, she's starting to crack a little bit, basically. Um, she notices um, that she keeps disappearing and she doesn't remember where she's going. And that Lena called her a bunch of times and left her a bunch of text messages, but she never saw them or got them. So she thinks something's wrong with her. And then Monel and Cara talk. And then uh, this girl named Judy was talking to her friend. She got pinned by a car and she's alive and she's a world killer. And that's the end of the video. So um, I actually really like this video. Um, I really like this, really like this episode. Uh, I would give this an A plus because um, I was not expecting how the stuff that was popping up. So it was very unexpected for me, especially for Livewire. I thought, you know, like maybe they could get some more episodes with her and she could become like an anti hero and be integrated kind of into the team, but not really. It just kind of helps out for the sidelines or something like that. And um, I don't know. I just thought it was a really good episode. The fight sequences were great. And. Just overall, a great episode, and get to see um, this pretty much all female type of episode, or generally for you know, it worked well for this episode, so I actually liked it. So that's wonderful for this video. So if you like this video, please go like, comment down below what you think, and then subscribe for more stuff. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.